Hello, my name is Philippa and I'm one of the pro artists here at Trini London. So today I'm going to be talking you through how to get that barely there makeup look. That no makeup look where you just want to be looking fresh and um, not looking like you're wearing very much at all. Skin wise, I am a light medium. Hair wise, I'm a dark brown. Eye colour, I'm a brown as well. In terms of all of the bits that I'm gonna show you today, that kind of works with my match to me uh, to ensure that it really uh, makes my um, skin and my eyes pop and makes me look as natural as possible. The first product that I'm gonna use is my BFF in light medium. So just a couple of pumps. Um, because I want that barely there makeup look, I don't wanna look like I'm caked in makeup. That's not my style. Also, I have a little one as well, so I don't really have time in the morning to do a full face of makeup, so that barely there makeup look is key for me to look really, really fresh and uh, fabulous, as I like to call it. <laughs> from someone who really suffers from um, eczema and dry skin, um, this floods the skin with moisture. If you have dry skin concerns, I'm telling you, this is unbelievable and it will really hydrate your skin all day long. The BFF is a skin perfecter, so if you want to perfect your skin and get rid of any uh, <laughs> concerns, like myself with my eczema breakout this morning, the next step I'm going to go in with is my BFF eye. Now, I am someone who does suffer from dark circles under the eyes. I think it may be a hereditary thing and the fact that I probably don't go to sleep early enough <laughs> and I have a toddler. So I don't know if you can see, if I go down like this, you can see that I suffer from like these sort of like purpley blue tones and in the corner of the eyes here as well. So what I want to do is I want to pick up a product that's really going to wake up my under eyes and um, going to hydrate, going to brighten and going to make me look like I've had about 15 hours sleep in a little teapot. So let's pop this one on. I'm using Mary today. Uh, reason being is it's got a little bit more peachy undertone to it. And what that's going to do is it's actually going, by the way, don't forget the inner corners of the eyes, it's really going to knock back that purpley undertone to the um, eyes and help to neutralise it. So I don't know if you can see the difference, well you can see the difference between those two eyes. So this is the one with the Mary on, this is the one that doesn't have the Mary on, so it really helps to brighten my complexion. It's got hyaluronic in as well, so it helps to flood the under eye with moisture. It's a hybrid between a concealer and skincare, so you're never going to look as if you're wearing really really heavy under eye concealer you know sometimes it can like sit in the creases it doesn't happen with this product it's really really great now i'm going to move in with my just a touch so underneath here is where i can get an eczema reaction a reaction an eczema reaction so i like to go in and tap 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 i have to use two different colors for this just because my neck is slightly lighter so i'm using zandy just under here, you can see that's totally zapped out. Um, and then my main just a touch is Amelia, and I literally would be lost without this product. I have, if you can see, there we go, I have a sort of broken capillary. So I like to go in and zap that out. It really stays all day long as well. And for that kind of no makeup makeup look, this product is great. I like to put a little bit um, just around the nose area as well. This is the area that everyone can get a little bit red i don't really want anything i don't really want any anything else really around the skin let's bring a little bit of life back to my um complexion so i'm going to go in with swala i do try and keep my face away from the sun as much as i can just because of ye old wrinkles <laughs> so i'm just going to go through with a little bit of swala warm my complexion up, make me look a little bit more healthier. Don't forget the neck as well, because that's the one area where we don't turn very much. Make sure you blend it in, just tap it all in. Nice and fresh. So I'm gonna be using Pia, which is one of the first products I ever bought. And it looks really, really bright in when you see it, but it is the most beautiful color. Just put a tiny bit here. All you need to do is just blend that through, just to give you that lovely, lovely flush some people like to smile when they do their um, blusher. Some people just know where to put it and blend it, blend it back. It's you know entirely up to you. Just a little bit here. And you can take this through to your um, lips if you want to as well. But just a very, very small amount, because don't forget we want that barely there makeup 
no makeup look. I'm not gonna take it through to my lips right now, but if you wanted to and you're going out in the evening, you can do, because it can be quite strong on the lips, so I'd rather put like a gloss on instead. Moving forward to a product I cannot live without, which is one called Sunlight. So I'm just gonna pop that on the high points of the cheekbones, and I like to take it through to my eyebrow bone as well. A little bit down the nose. You can see that there's a really, really nice luminosity through to the face. Very, very fresh, very, very glowy. The barely there makeup, makeup look. Eyelids now. Um, I do suffer from veiny eyelids. Um, I don't know if you can see, just a little bit. So those veins on there are perfectly normal. That, that makes us human. But I like to just knock them back, just to even out the complexion. This one is Justice all over the eyelid just to where sort of like the brow bone the socket finishes basically if you see the difference between the two eyes it actually brightens my eye it kind of wakes me up knots back the veiny the veiny area i do love a little bit of sheen to the eyes as well so i'm just going to go over with a little bit of virtue uh, which is this one here one of the newer colors that came out um, it's such a gorgeous gorgeous color you can probably see on the back of my hand Really, really lovely, very natural, again, very champagne -y. And I'm just gonna go over Justice and pop that all over the eyelid. So, I'm gonna go a little bit closer just so you can see. Very, very natural. And to finish the look off, I'm going to go in with um, Mia, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous lip glow. It's got a little bit of pink to it, so it's gonna tie in really nicely with the Pia, but it's not gonna be so intense that it's like, whoa, what are you wearing? It smells. It smells like watermelon and it's amazing. You kind of want to eat it. Lipstick and blush is really, really important. If you get that color right, it makes just makes everything look really, really nice and fresh. Um, obviously, I have to put mascara on. Can't go out without mascara on. In terms of that no makeup, barely there look, you may decide you just want to wear clear mascara. You may decide you just want one layer of mascara. I'm such a mascara girl, so I'm going to go in with a good few layers. That is the stack that I've used today. Um, it looks like a lot, but you know what? It's just a teeny tiny amount from each. And guys, the only brush I used was the one for my um, bronzer, otherwise I did everything with my hands. And that's really key and important when I have a toddler around and I maybe need to be carrying her on one side whilst I'm throwing my face on. I hope you enjoyed it. That's my barely there, no makeup, makeup look. See you soon, guys. Thanks. Bye.